show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, we've, we've made it to ten episodes. Or Yay! Or podisodes, I should say. Ten. <laughs> Double Magic figures. Number. Yay! <laughs> what we need to celebrate, I've got Morrison's Fruit Berry Crush. <laughs> I have some Grimbergen blonde <laughs> beer that I found in Lidl. Oh, if you see Grafenwalder, that's worth a try. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a, Yeah, that was always a good one. Okay. My beer is too warm to drink right now. It's in the fridge oh, for when no, we're this, finished. <laughs> this was this was purchased yesterday, so... Perfect. Not that we're condoning the drinking of alcohol after a lovely day's work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah, we are, it's fine. It, always, always, <laughs> always. Or even at work. Yeah, if you can get away with it, that's all some people do. <laughs> well, hopefully it will tomorrow, because we should have the hour lunch and we usually all go to the pub, so... Oh, lovely. Fingers crossed. And someone's <laughs> leaving, so... Uh, it's usually drinky, drinky. <laughs> we'll have that next Friday, sadly. Mm. <laughs> for uh, yeah, for someone we both work with, who for your hopefully, namesake. You know, yeah, for my namesake, another Peter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'll be leaving. If he's listening, um, come back already. <laughs> 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 I'm sure we'll miss you. Yeah, or, hasn't um, left at time of recording or at time of release of videos. No, but, but there's time for him to change. It's time for you to change your mind, Peter. Come on, <laughs> stay, stay. <laughs> stay. You do really want to? <laughs> oh well. How how is that British guy anyway? He's okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's excited. Is okay. that the right word? <laughs> excited for an eight-hour WrestleMania? Oh, okay. Is excited the word or terrified the word? <laughs> oh, eight no, hours. That... Eight, I'm, uh, eight hours. I'm when glad is that? I'm... Is that April, or that, did you say? Yeah, April the 8th. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Or, well, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be April the 8th here by the time we can see it. Technically, it'll be the 7th, which is the Sunday. Oh, oh it's one of them. Okay. But yeah, by the time it actually airs over here, it will actually be kind of the early hours of the 8th. So, yeah, 8 Fair hours. <laughs> Are you going to watch it live at 2 in the morning? No, because I'll be at work then from <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and yes. waking up <laughs> at 6 to get to work. No, because <laughs> technically, when I get up for work, it probably still will be on. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, okay, yeah, good point, yeah. Yeah. It'll probably be about halfway through. Uh, yeah, three quarters, I reckon. So, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> you have the, to avoid spoilers. <laughs> well, that's the thing, yeah. I always have to. The stupid thing is, because I've got the network on my phone, when things happen, you get a little, like you get a text message or an email, pops up right. on my phone. Oh, like, that's annoying. I don't tell me. Because <laughs> I want to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I I um have an app called Flash Scores, which is essentially the same thing. Mm. Unless I unsubscribe to the football teams I am following, if I'm watching the game live or with like a little bit of a delay, yeah, I'm always going to get told what's coming, and I don't want to. Oh, so you'll know before it happens that Newcastle have gone three 0 down. Yes, exactly ah. right. And I don't, you know, I want, you want... I want it. I want to have live misery, not <laughs> predetermined misery. Yay, this misery's on its way. Exactly. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, I lost my voice then. Oh, how are you anyway? I'm all right. I know you'd taken yeah. a bit of a, a bit of a back seat, but then I saw that you were all happy that your capture card worked. Yeah, it, yeah, no problem. Like, can't even exaggerate. Not even, like, minimal. Just absolutely no problems whatsoever. Lovely. Filmed the entire Master Series. Master Series? No, not the entire series. That would be terrible. Every single That'd one. Come incredible. on. Incredible. Yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would be incredible. Um, no, I, uh, the entire episode of the Master Trainer series with Volpix and Nine Tails. Filmed the entire thing. Uh, watched it back just in case. Didn't save the game, so if anything went wrong, I could go back to when I had just the Volpix before I evolved it. You know, okay. so was, contingency plans for errors were put into place. Nice. But literally nothing went wrong. Abs yeah. Like nothing at all. Cool. So yeah, Clefairy or Jigglypuff next. Jigglypuff is in the lead at the moment. I think 
five votes to two. Oh, okay. So. I mean, technically, if you do the Jigglypuff one, then you surely can do the Wigglytuff one straight after? Yeah, I will do. It was it was going to be a case of those or Clefairy and Clefable. Oh, of course, yes. And it seems people want... Actually, I'll double-check while we're, while we're on the phone. <gasps> it seems people want... Checking um, why I've gone here. ...want Jigglypuff. I genuinely thought people would go for um, Clefairy. Not that it bothers me. I don't really care which one it is. I'm going to do them all anyway. But yeah, it, it surprised me. Oh, here we are. I mean, yeah, seven votes. I'm assuming five to two. 71 to 29 so far. Oh, OK. I mean, in fairness, you've got to do them all. Yeah, I do. Got to yeah. do them all. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will. I'm determined. Mm. Even if the know... views start to dwindle, which I hope not. They should be entertaining. because. <laughs> Well, Even right, if you sh- don't enjoy them, viewers, we're going to do them. We're going to do yes, them anyway because they're finish. in the plan. <laughs> don't care if you don't enjoy it. And you exactly. want something they're, else. They're in the schedule. This. Leave me alone. <laughs> It'll, uh, yeah, probably doing the maths, it might take me almost like two years to do this. So I might have to increase the rate of of uh, Master Trainer videos at some point. I might just have to film like a whole bulk of five or so. Well, yeah, I mean, there's 153, isn't there? Yeah. With- Meltan and yeah. Well, if I'm doing evolutionary lines, and if I do, oh, yeah, course, and then if yes. I do the ones that don't evolve, if I do three of them at a time, there's going to be about fifty to sixty odd, I think, if I can remember oh, rightly. Okay, yeah. So even if I did one a week from now on, it'd still take me till next March to finish them off. Ouch. Of which we will have sword and shield by then, so I'm sure my focus <laughs> will be shifted. Yes. So indeed. I might um. Uh, yeah, I might do the first. I do, you know, do like ten or so where I do the polls and let people choose. Yeah. And then after that, I might just pretty much film as many as I can and just put and them on the channel. Maybe yeah. I don't. You know, maybe not publicize it because otherwise people will get sick of the sight of me. But yeah. you know, I could add like five a week and say there's another five episodes for you, and then you know, yeah. right, another five episodes. Yeah. Question. And, yeah. How yeah. are you going to do the EV one? Are you going to do the EV one? Then yeah. evolve it, and then not save it, but technically have the gameplay. Then evolve uh, it into something else. I've got the Eevee one prepared already, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, I, it took bloody ages. Because <laughs> what I've done... I feel, I feel like I've been talking about this for ages, but I'll carry on. It's like, yeah, what I've, yeah, what I've done is got them all to level 60 mm-hmm. and given them 100 candy, because that, more or less is a level playing field for battling. Because I've watched a few videos of other uh, PokeTubers and they've got them quite strong and they've won fairly easily every time. And it's all right, it's fun to watch, but after a while you sort of think, well, I know you're going to win. You know, you've almost maxed its stats up. So yeah, I've tried it's to get it to... not to win then. Exactly. Yeah, so I've tried to get it to a point where I might even lose a couple and have to think tactically of how I can overcome it and mm. get a bit of, yeah, make it a bit more exciting. Cool. And um, with that, I needed 300 Eevee candy. Because <laughs> I've got... Exactly. Yeah, I've, I've got an Eevee because I'm doing it on Let's Go Eevee. That one's fine. Yeah. But then I've actually got three very strong Eevees that I've already evolved into Flareon, Vaporeon oh, okay. and Jolteon. Yeah. But then I chain, I chain caught, honestly, I think it was 205 EVs I stopped at. Jesus. That took an entire almost weekend. <laughs> Crying out loud, man. Yeah. This is, what I do, this is what I did when the laptop didn't work. I had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed things. and this, like The video that's coming out on Tuesday I filmed in January. You know, the Master Trainer, of, the Vulpix I used, I think I caught in December. You know, it's, this is sort of like the... the the what's the word backlog I suppose mm-hmm. of the plans I made when there was no laptop here. Jeez. And then of course when I got the laptop back, Sword and Shield trailer came out, so everything was stopped for another four weeks. Of so course, it's... yeah. Well, to give you a bit of context, oh. obviously we're recording this on the Thursday, yeah, for Sunday. Mm-hmm. But I have my final WrestleMania two video coming up on Tuesday. Yeah. Haven't recorded it yet. <laughs> yeah. So oh, that's, that's good. That, <laughs> that kind of shows the difference between your, oh, just get things prepared and ready, and me, oh, I'm doing a video tomorrow. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to need some gameplay for that. Better do it now, then. Yeah. Well, that's the joy of gameplay. I filmed, edited... Well, I filmed and edited all in one evening. Mm. I uploaded it at work the next morning. Actually, no, I did not at work at all. No. no. <laughs> uploaded it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it at work because it literally takes two minutes rather than at my house that takes three hours. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, why would you take it to work for a two-minute upload? Exactly. It's yeah. Exactly right, yeah. But, yes, yeah, so, I, yeah, it, that was all done in even. That's the joy of gameplay. Cool. But, yeah, so the top ten one's taking more editing. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll be Tuesday. Top yeah, ten Tuesdays funny. every other Tuesday, just so people know. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you've got a bit more of a structure now, haven't you? Yeah, I've tried... things on days. Yeah, I've tried to, uh, to plan... Mm. otherwise I'm just throwing videos out whenever I've done them and it'll be a bit weird but you know I've got a plan Cute. I've actually planned the specifics of what videos are coming out for the next two weeks as well as knowing sort of what series it will be so that's good Nice. got things sorted and I've also got today's section sorted and in front of me so Lovely. for the first time in my life I'm actually organised Cool. <laughs> which is unlike <laughs> me if you know me at all <laughs> indeed well, yeah. if you're that organised and raring to go, <laughs> then go. Oh, well, I can do. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Why not? Well, I thought for for number 10, the 10th mm -hmm. podisode, I thought I would do a top 10 sort of live, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, OK. Live, not live, like we always do on these. Yeah. At least you haven't got to edit this one either. Exactly, yeah. I was thinking I'd do... I w well, I was thinking I could do my updated top 10 Pokemon, but I thought, no, I'm, gonna I'm actually going to save that and do a video on it mm -hmm. so I can show people visually why these Pokemon are good as well. And then I thought, what other top 10s could I do? And then I suddenly realised, why don't I just do my top 10 favourite games as of now? Oh, from, okay. From my life. Cool. So I've got a list of, well, 12 here that I've crossed two out of. I was going to say, 12, <laughs> not 10. No, so honourable <laughs> mentions go to GTA Vice City and Little Big Planet, the original PS3 game, because oh, I yeah. actually quite enjoyed that. Cool. So when you say 10 games, you mean ever game, not like 10 games at the moment now in your life, but 10 no. ever that you've played that... Yeah, 10 ever. Cool, okay. But I'm sure if I try to do a list tomorrow, there might be a couple of things that change. And, you know, it, it, it's always... These sort of things are always subject to change. Card subject to change, yep. Exactly, yep. <laughs> <laughs> As we said last week, subject to change. That was a quote. Mm -hmm. But essentially, yeah, I've got a list here. I'll go from 10 to 1. I think sort of... Looking at it, let's have a look here. Yeah, I think sort of 5-ish to 10 aren't really like a massive order. I reckon the mm -hmm. top... Uh, definitely the top three at least or four they're probably more the main ones but and anyway I'll just crack on with it I'll stop beating around the bush <laughs> but yeah no so at, at ten I put Duke Nukem Time to Kill okay because as a ten year old I loved that game <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't supposed to play it <laughs> mm -mm. no we have you know dancing scantily clad women and blowing things up and blood and everywhere, but mm -hmm. you know it was it was really fun game actually. I liked this is um, I liked having a flamethrower, flamethrowing chickens, <laughs> so they become like whole roast chickens. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and generally just trying to find where everything was on the game, giving myself unlimited life and nothing else. Yeah. And it was pretty good kicking. Pigs in the nether regions. That was always a fun thing. <laughs> Kicking pigs in the balls. Yeah, it's a shame that game didn't have the shrinker, though, because you could shrink something and step on it. But it did have the freezer, so you could freeze someone and then, sh like, kick them and shatter them. But, yeah, so that, that was in ten. Yeah. Uh, in nine, I it was quite difficult. I've just put Ratchet and Clank just in brackets general, because, to me, no single one of Ratchet and Clank games have been so far above the others that it deserves a specific mention, if that makes any sense. Does that include the kind of new PS4 soft reboot-y one? Yeah, sort of. Well, that's the one I've played most recently mm -hmm. because my PS3 has decided not to work, which is great. Handy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the one I've played most recently. And it has been enjoyable, I'm not going to lie. 
I think um, original PS3 is probably my favourite one. But in terms of enjoyment, I have actually enjoyed every single one I've ever played. I don't know why. I, I, yeah, I was a hoarder. I'd hoard all the nuts until the really big guns at the end came in, and then I'd just buy them and kill everything <laughs> instantly. I'd get the, the disco ball weapon. I don't know if you ever... Have you played Ratchet & Clank? Not the older ones. I played no. the reboot one. Um, oh, okay. Purely, really, because it was a PlayStation Plus free game one month. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and I think that was still roughly when I was doing reviews, maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's. I just like the weapon on there that, that's like a, a disco ball and everyone starts dancing. <laughs> what, so <laughs> then, then you can just pick them off? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. But yeah, that was my number nine spot. Number eight. I'm crossing them off as I go so I don't get confused. Number eight, I don't care what anyone says, number eight for me is Worms Reloaded on the PC. Wrong. It's, it's in, ah, oh, it's... <laughs> Worms 2 is the correct answer. Yes, I know, that's what I mean. Everyone always says Worms 2. <laughs> but I just like Worms Reloaded on the PC, um, putting unlimited everything on there, getting the concrete donkey, the holy hand grenades, <laughs> old woman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly Hang right. On. So on that one, you could unlimit everything and still get the special items. You uh, not the special ones, I should say. No, it's a good point. Like this, there's a because uh, yeah. you wouldn't get the concrete donkey then. No, you, they'd still drop from crates, but you just put the crate dropping rate up to like max, basically, oh. and you get a crate every other move or like between I, moves. I seem to remember too. If you unlimited all the normal items, even like the super super powerful ones, yeah. You wouldn't then get the special ones? Yeah. Oh, I. You would on this one. Oh, right. <laughs> Probably why I love it so much. Aqua Sheep. I love Aqua Sheep. <laughs> Fly under the map and blow people up from below. Oh, that's great. And then just let them fall into the water. Yes. <laughs> the home. Oh, hitting a home run with the baseball bat. It's just. It's just fun. Did you ever play it where you just had like unlimited, say, teleports? Bungees, oh, yeah. parachutes, and ninja ropes, and then just poke. Yes, <laughs> I loved those games. That was brilliant. <laughs> so you can move around as freely as you like, and your only weapon is poke. Exactly right. Yeah, that is. Oh, they're With the best no ones. drops, nothing. Yeah, yeah, that is the art. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> but yeah, that was my number eight. I'll I'll move on, otherwise we'll be talking about this game for eight. <laughs> okay. My number seven is another PC game, actually. It's um, Warcraft 3. Ooh, nice. Yes. That or Frozen Throne, uh, Frozen Throne the expansion pack. Either way, that, mm. that game is... It's one of those. I reckon I don't play it for a year, then I play it once, and I'm playing it probably for about a whole fortnight every night when I get home from work, just doing yeah. something else. I'm, I like it's one of those where I like the story of it, um, like the story mode you can go through as um, what is it, King Arthur's? I think it is. Yeah, I love the story mode of that. Yeah, that is really yeah, good. Yeah, because then he gets turned to darkness, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Because of the sword. Yeah, and it, and and also just getting a big map, getting about four teams all against each other, mm -hmm. and just trying to. Get survive. all your lumber, get in your gold, trying to survive, expand your camps. Every it's great. I just yeah, it's re it's really um, indulgent for an evening. Mm. Yeah, you can lose hours in that. Yeah, I yeah. love being a night elf as well, where all the buildings can come up and become attacking forces. Oh yes, they can, can't they? Yeah. Yes, with the wisps, just yeah. controlling a tree rather than chopping the tree down and then getting the lumber for it. It was re yeah, it's. Mm. It's brilliant. Shame the film didn't live up to the game. But, um, Never saw it, in fairness. <laughs> no, it, I haven't finished it, must admit. I'll probably give it a fair <laughs> shout soon. It was, but, uh, it was that good, I didn't finish a film. It was just, it was one of those, uh, everything was cliche and exactly what you'd expect. Oh dear. But yeah, so that was, yeah, that's my number seven, Walk Off 3. I haven't nice. played that for ages. My number six, I will say I've tried to do one game per franchise. Okay. Except this franchise, but I've spread it across two um, consoles. So number six is Pokemon Stadium, because mm -hmm. that game never stops. <laughs> as we've sh as we've shown mm. viewers before, we've played yes, the mini games. <laughs> technically, it doesn't stop, does it? No, 
not really. Yeah, like I say, we've shown the viewers the mini games. We've actually had a battle ourselves on Stadium and Stadium 2. Yes, we have. We didn't have any technical difficulties on that. <laughs> not on the first, not on Stadium 1, we didn't. No. But, no, uh, no it was, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it, it's just interesting. You can have two stages, like you can complete all the cups in the cup place. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> um, the, ar- the arena, something like that. Yeah, you could um, complete all those cups, do the gym leader castle, and it will take you on to the second stage. And during that second stage, like between first and second, Mewtwo will come down and battle you. And then you beat Mewtwo and it takes you to like stage two, which essentially is the same as stage one, but they've upped the difficulty rating of everything. Mm-hmm. So like some trainers in Gym Leader Castle might actually have Zapdos and Articuno and Moltres now, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, okay, yeah. It's always good to do that Mewtwo battle with my Mew, though, because it's the proper Mew versus Mewtwo battle, and it's oh, showdown to the <laughs> to the end. But yeah, like I say, the game never stops. You can plug the Generation 1 games into it, play them through the Game Boy Tower, play it at three times speed as well. That's in- <laughs> <it's> just <laughs> great. Of a morning on Generation 1, you can get yourself all the way to like a third gym in about an hour and a half if you <laughs> just speed really? through everything. Yeah, it's. It, I've yet to do it, but I know you can complete the game in a day if you play it on three times speed on yeah, <laughs> Stadium. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But, I, you know, I've had other things to do in my life than that. <laughs> but essentially that's my number something what was it number six that was it <laughs> I crossed it off moving on to number five is a football game okay and it is LMA 2002 or three uh, or 2003 you mean it's not that Sky Sports football quiz we both did no that just <laughs> missed out <laughs> <laughs> that just missed out purely for the who refereed the <laughs> 1964 third round tie between Wensleydale and <laughs> Arnville. You know, that's <laughs> just for that. <laughs> but it, I don't know what makes that is on PS2 as well. I don't know what make, made LMA 2002 and 2003 so good. It was just that it was simple mm. and straightforward. I don't know if you ever played them, but it was. I didn't play the LMA managers. I yeah. played some of the early championship managers and premier managers, but I loved me a football manager game, and I probably could do with one now, really. Yeah. I haven't. Like, put it this way, the newest football game I had was FIFA 16 for the right. PS4. I didn't bother with the gameplay. I just went into season mode as a manager. Yeah, I... To be honest, that's what I've done on FIFA every time. Mm. I'll play about three in a row on FIFA manager mode and win yeah. like seven nil on easy, just so I've got a head start because I'm Newcastle and I bloody need it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll do manager mode for about five games and try my best to mm. get something. But yeah, no, I don't know what made LMA manager itself so good. Those games, before everything became like difficult. <laughs> And I suppose yeah. this is around a time when Newcastle were in the Champions League as well, so that probably helped. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. I think, to be honest, they've kind of put too much into them now. Yes, Before absolutely. it used to be a little bit of transfer, pick the team, and a bit of tactics, but not too much. But now you could literally go into every single player and tell them what their pass rate's going to be and exact positioning on the pitch. and yeah. I'm, I can't be bothered. Uh, I can't be bothered with that. It's, just, it's, it's that that is too taking it too far. Yeah. Show me a player's overall rating. Yeah. <laughs> Show me how much they cost. Yeah. And that's enough for me. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll buy them or I won't buy them, and yeah. then I'll work out what my formation is based on what I want to do or who I bought. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Mm. Four four two. Can't go wrong. <laughs> but there, that was that was that number. Mm-hmm. Number five. Five. Yep. <laughs> I'm taking longer on this than I thought I would. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Turns out I'm talking about games is great. We anyway, call number it a bumper f- episode <laughs> as it's our tenth anniversary. It is tenth anniversary. That means twenty weeks we've been doing this. That's not bad. <laughs> Probably longer because I think we've actually missed a few around oh, of Christmas. We have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And of course. illness yeah. and things. Yeah. It's a good five months, I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna <laughs> probably close to six. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll have to do a year special, find out when we we'll, first We're like sent a one. bad smell, we won't go away. Yes, no matter how much you try. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, number four, moving on to the games that are probably more top tier now. Okay. And number four for me, purely for... I, well, I'll just say, um, Mario Kart Wii, for me, mm-hmm. is number four. And that's not to say that a game like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 64 is a bad game, or not even that it's not as good as this one. It's just that, for me, that was at the right age for me to play that game and get really, really into it. And the courses were perfect, the weapons were perfect. It was, you know, it was a game all of the family could enjoy because when the Wii came out, that was sort of what it was marketed as, more of a... yeah. Yeah, that was motion the capture a family type game and we did in our house we did sit down and play Mario Kart Wii together and mm. I really enjoy it it's a really really good game and not just the nostalgia and the family spirit of it all but you know just actually the fact that it's awesome yeah <laughs> it introduced a lot of good new tracks you know like um, Moo Moo Meadows for example that's quite <laughs> an interesting track but it was just great. I I liked. To, I had the steering wheel with it, and I did use the motion capture, auto drifting, and I would steer with the game. And it was just pretty awesome. Yeah, no argument yeah. really. No, I don't think I need to say too much more. As as you say, yeah, all of them brilliant. But I suppose yeah. that one, I've always yeah. had a fondness for the first one because it was yeah. the first one I played. Um, but yeah, playing eight when you were over last, and we played a lot of that. I need to buy that game. Yeah, that's really good, point. especially if it's but got yeah. four, is it 48 courses it's got? Yeah, something stupid. Yeah, it's... yeah. and because you can play it with the Joy-Cons as yeah. well. Yeah, Just Two one player. on its own. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the whole yeah, franchise uh, wins for me. Yeah, I, I could have put the whole franchise in for this one, but there was just something <laughs> about the Wii that yeah. I just really enjoyed. Personal preference, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, moving into number three... I've put Jack and Daxter for PS2. Okay, you're on your own now, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Not played it. No, it's... Oh, it's just another one of those where I don't know specifically what about it makes me enjoy it, but it's sort of... For the time, it was open world mm. as such. You know, obviously you have to go to certain locations and things, but you still have to go and go around the locations, find the orbs... Find the scout flies, find uh, the um, what they call precursor like egg t- um, oh, things. Oh, what are they? They had a name for them. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, there it is um, precursor orbs and power cells. There was usually about ten power cells for every level. About a hundred odd precursor orbs and seven scout flies. And you know me, knowing knowing me, I love games like that. We, I'm a completionist. I love doing all those things and spending time doing it and at the same time beating enemies trying to do logic type puzzles you know mm. blowing stuff up with a massive cannon cannon from the top of a lighthouse <laughs> you know what things like you want? exactly trying to race a bird to get my power cell back you know um, trying not to die <laughs> in dark ooze as they call it getting ambushed in a big arena and trying to kill everyone you know, it was, you know, it was so much about it, and the fact that you can have four different, like power up type things. So if you go into like a green, green eco, that's the word, eco. Go into green eco, all your health gets restored. Go into blue, you go faster, for a certain amount of time. You know, oh, yellow, like, you can... yeah, different power up. Things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it was just spot on. I really enjoyed it. I still enjoy it now. I've got it on the PS4. It's not remastered or anything. You know, released it for oh, virtual. They've just, they've just sort of patched it for the PS4. Yeah. yeah, and it's really good. If anyone's listening hasn't tried it, I would recommend it. If you got to pay for it, then you know, be committed. <laughs> but say it comes out on PSN as a free game or something, give it a go. It's it's worth it. Hmm. But that was Fair my enough. yeah. That was my number three. Moving on to the top two now, which is um for me these top two are god tier games. <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Number two is from the Pokemon franchise. It's uh, It was difficult to try and narrow it down because if I was to choose 
any game, like multiple from a franchise, about eight of these would be Pokemon Core series games. Yes. But um, I've narrowed it down to one. I say narrowed it down, this is one, but it was difficult to not include the others. But um, it's essentially Pokemon X and Y on the 3DS. Mm. Yes, it's not Generation 1, which most people love, and it that, again, great game. You know, I'm not going to knock any of the games at all. Every single one of them is amazing for me. I love them. But X and Y were just a cut above the rest. I don't know why. They hit the nail on the head. The sort of artwork style of it, because it was based in France, or based off of France, the region. Mm-hmm. So everything was sort of picturesque and a little bit beautiful. And, you know, they had like a, a gentle feel about it, like the French nature does, you know, that sort of uh, mm. that sort of thing. And it was really good. And you could do so many things on that game on the so many things on that game that you couldn't necessarily do on others or do to that degree like for example um, growing berries you can do on any other game but on this game you have to go back and water it you can see the tree growing you get to pull the weeds there'll sometimes the tree will be shaking and it'll have a wild pokemon there and you can battle it you know and it was Sort of like a mini Farmville or something, you know. Um, yeah, sort of just made things a bit more immersive. Yeah, Battle Chateau yeah. where trainers regenerate. Every, you know. Andy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where you can go and train Pokemon to get to le- uh, level a hundred. They give you lots of reward money for it. Absolutely lots. Some people do. And I just don't know what yeah the the Pokemon from that region as well the new Pokemon introduced in Gen Six were really good actually there was not many on there that weren't up to scratch. Hmm. I'm not going to say some of, all of them were in like my top hundred or Pokemon whatever, but I enjoyed all of them and I've used all of them at least once and can't really say I'm disheartened by any. But generally that game on a whole just perfect for me would happily play it over and over again. Mm. But yeah. Number but it's one, not number one. It's not number one. But number one, number one isn't a Pokemon game either, but it is a Nintendo game. Okay. And it's this is the looking at the I list. Think, I think I know what this might be. Yeah. Can yes. I guess? You can guess. <laughs> is it Breath of the Wild? It is Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Switch, <laughs> yes. The most recent game on this list is my favourite game of all time. And I can understand exactly why. <laughs> 10 out of 10, without question. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yep. just <laughs> I've never played a Zelda game until this one, I must admit. Okay. Mainly because I wasn't overly interested in the franchise. I've played Mario games and Yoshi games and Mario Kart as well, obviously. And Pokemon. <laughs> Dabbled in a few other um, Nintendo franchise games, but never Zelda. Until Breath of the Wild. And, oh, <laughs> <laughs> speak about open world, you know, it's... For a start, the tutorial level, I say tutorial level, you still get a good-sized map to explore. Yep. You essentially, you know... Spoiler free, this will be, but you essentially wake up after a hundred years of being put to sleep. For reasons. Yeah, for reasons that the game tell you, so go play it. But, um, and then you just like, you know, you meet a wizard man and he says, Oh, you've got, well, you see a shaker slate where you are and you see a wizard man. Mm. I'll call it. That's the most ge- uh, generic term I'm going to, sp- you know, generic spoiler free term. And then you. Basically, take your shaker slate and you've got to go activate something and then four bits in this tiny little bit, what's say tiny, and this bit of the map open and you have to go look at them and it tells you how to use certain power-ups or, you know, certain things. Yeah, yeah. It, it's perfect in terms of just giving you just enough of the core gameplay and storyline elements. Exactly right, yeah. And I think the brilliant thing about it as well, as simple as it is is it gives you the main quest, because it is quest-based, I suppose, like a Skyrim is, yeah. in terms of, like, you, you play through main quests and side quests in the storyline, but the overall main objective is available to you pretty much from the beginning of the game. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's the bad guy right over there. Kill him. Yep. And you literally could just walk. I mean, if you're good enough with three <laughs> hearts and absolutely useless weaponry. Yeah. But <laughs> the game doesn't stop you and go, oh, no, you need to go and do this. And why don't we funnel you down this way for yeah. reasons? Although it does do that and it explains, yeah, the hundred year thing and, and exactly what's been going on and allows you to get a lot stronger. It yeah. does literally go, there's the end. Off you yeah. go. Exactly right. And then it's up to you on how much you want to explore the world and yep. s like build your strength and your hearts up and everything mm -hmm. until you don't even have, because there's four divine beasts you can defeat before it. Yep. You don't even have to beat all of them or even one of them if you don't want to no you can just spend ages getting you know building up your strength getting stronger getting the hearts getting the weapons and then just go straight to the boss if you want mm -hmm. it like yep. you say it's it's great i've never known a game to be that open to that degree no i mean i things like a skyrim or a fallout you still have to follow the main as, as small as those main quests are, because it's usually go here, see this person, talk to this person, then they'll tell you a little bit. It's still linear as though you have to do A before you get to B, which leads to C and D. And by like the main ending of that main piece of storyline might be point Z. Yeah. But you literally have to do A to Y in that order to get to Z. Whereas with this, Z is available as soon as you start. Yeah. Kill bad guy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it's just brilliant. If anyone hasn't tried it and has the Switch, which would be a miracle, actually, because it's <laughs> basically yes. everyone that owns the Switch has got Breath of the Wild. But, I um, hope so. Yeah, if there's anyone out there that hasn't bought it yet, you need to. Like I yes. say, it wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't... I'd never, like... Um, ventured into this franchise before so if you haven't ventured into the franchise you think ah oh, that won't be for me it believe take it from me it will be it's yeah you also don't need any knowledge of the franchise in order to enjoy no. the game or play the game it's completely irrelevant it's they're all like that anyway they're all their standalone version of sort of the same story in a loose term yeah. retold each time yeah pretty much yeah, I mean, speaking of Skyrim, the map of Hyrule itself is 50% bigger than uh, than the Skyrim map. Is it actually? It is, yeah. Mm. I'm just quickly... Yeah, here we go. Legend, oh, no, are, you, that's, are you Googling live on air? Yes, I'm Googling live on air. Breath of the, mile, yeah. Breath of the Wild is 23.7 square miles of explorable terrain. Blimey. 23.7. Now, let's have a look of... At Skyrim map, and then I will wrap up basically. Okie dokie. I've got one question after you do. Go for it. It is, yeah, 14.3 square miles. Oh wow, so, so it's, it's nearly double. Yeah, it's nearly double. It is somewhere around 60% bigger. Yeah. It's incredible. It's huge. You know, and it's got, like I say in my review video, you know, it's got. Volcanoes to the northeast, the snowy mountain northwest, you know, deserts southwest, and like beaches southeast. So it's. Yeah. And lots of forest in the middle. <laughs> yeah. And not just forest, it's. Oh, yeah, it, there's low. You, you, you know, you could try and go from point A to point B, which is really not far on the map, but you might not actually get there in one evening. You might end up going on a tangent. Oh, it was very easy to, yeah, yeah, just talk to a person or see a thing and go, oh, what's that? And then yeah. that leads you into a whole sub-story. And before you know it, you go, what was I doing? Yeah, mm. <laughs> exactly right. Anyway, that that's me. You said you had a question. Quick question, yeah. Uh, the Link's Awakening remake that's supposed to be oh, coming out yes. towards the end of the year. Buying it? Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably give it a go. If they um, get a demo out, I'll certainly give it a try. Yeah. But um, yeah, if they don't do a demo out, I know my um, my uncle who may well be listening right now because he's a he's a subscriber. He is he is definitely going to get that game because he 
essentially sent me, you know, Link's Awakening with about 20 exclamation marks when the <laughs> Nintendo Direct came out. So um, if there's not a trailer, I am not. I'm not going to get it like day of release, but I'll wait and I'll get his opinion on it because if he enjoys it, I know it will be good. Fair enough. But if he plays it and he thinks, oh, I don't know, there's certain bits here and this, then I might not. So I'll mm. I'll, I'll reserve my judgment. Okay. Yoshi's Yoshi's Crafted World is out tomorrow though, and that's something I'm going to have to think about. <laughs> that is fun. I've played the demo for that, and it's yeah. fun. Yeah, that's something. That's yeah, that's a consideration considering it's payday tomorrow as well, and I'll be very tempted. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, no. Anyway, I've rambled on a lot about this list. That's so okay. good. I thought you know, tenth episode, top ten list. I'll speak a bit longer, so it's a special. <laughs> <laughs> 10th you know 10th anniversary special <laughs> but yeah right. that's um yeah will, that's me uh, i'll stop talking now except obviously to respond to what you're saying you, no you're just gonna sit there in silence <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it i'm, I'm zipping my mouth shut now <laughs> yeah well i mean i firstly want to address the rather meteoric news in terms of what's going on uh yourself probably is not slightly aware or bothered in any possible way <laughs> but um at wrestlemania there will be a women's triple threat match for okay. the uh, raw women's championship and it will be the main event okay and this is the first time this has ever happened at wrestlemania is that first time it's ever happened for that gender uh, first time at WrestleMania for the gender, yes. Right, okay, okay. Third time for the gender at any pay-per-view. Right, okay. Only third, Bearing wow. In third, yes. Right, the first okay. was in late 2016, uh, September-October time, at Hell in a Cell. The second time was the December uh, 2018 pay-per-view tables, ladders and chairs. Right. And the third one will be, yes, April the 7th. Okay. That's... And this is WrestleMania 35. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. it's taken 30, 35. It's taken for them. that long. Right, And okay. <laughs> in fairness, it's taken a Ronda Rousey for that to be a thing. Ah, oh, is that yeah. the one about the film? Uh, no, that's the ex UFC MMA cage fighter. Right. Okay. I have heard who, the name. I just yes. Yeah. That... I thought you probably would have done. Yeah. Yes. I have heard She's that. She's one of the most marketable people they've got in the company outside of the company. So, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No. But what I want to do is take you on a a whistle stop tour of how we got to this match. Right, okay. And all the twisty, turny bits okay. to get there. <laughs> so, bearing in mind, this match will be happening April the 7th. Okay. The kind of story for this started um, in the run-up to Survivor Series, November um, 2018. Okay. So that's our time period, November to April. Okay. And Ronda, champion over on the Raw brand... Becky Lynch, women's champion over on the SmackDown brand. Right. And Survivor Series was basically going to be Raw people versus SmackDown people in various matches. One of which was going to be women's champion, women's champion. Okay. And the week before, um, they did kind of uh, SmackDown invades Raw storyline. And Becky Lynch... Becky Lynch legitimately got punched in the face by somebody, oh, okay. breaking her nose and giving her a concussion. So she wasn't medically cleared for the match. So they had to replace Becky with Charlotte Flair. Right, okay. So we had that match at Survivor Series instead, Ronda versus Charlotte, with Becky being rather annoyed that somebody legitimately punched her in the face <laughs> and took her out of the match. As you would be. Yes. And she basically has never let this go. She's been like a dog with a with a bone. Okay. Especially on Twitter. Right, okay. <laughs> having pops at her all the time. So this then leads to uh, TLC in December. And they have uh, their main event. Um, Charlotte and Becky and a woman called Asuka in a tables, ladders and chairs match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. 
And because Becky has basically been goading Ronda this whole time, mm -hmm. Ronda interferes. She's also a bit cheesed off with Charlotte because Charlotte went haywire at Survivor Series with a kendo stick, oh, beating okay. the hell out of her. So she costs both of them the match, and Asuka wins. Okay. <laughs> so far, so simple. Yeah. <laughs> right? At the Royal Rumble, Becky gets a rematch for the belt she lost, and she loses that match as well. Okay. Later in the night, she enters herself into the Women's Royal Rumble match. Um, basically, somebody has a leg injury, and she takes their place in the match with the intention of winning it to get a main event match at WrestleMania. Okay. One for the men, one for the women. Okay. And up until this point, very predictable, well, presumably Becky's going to win this, and then we finally get Ronda versus Becky. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking would happen. <laughs> that's what you're thinking. Well, that does happen. Okay. She she suffers a fake knee injury in the match. Right. But she does manage to win the match. And the next night, she declares that she's going to be facing Ronda okay. for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, this is where things get a little bit stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, what I'm going to go through now, happens on a week-by-week -week basis. Okay. okay? So... January 28th, Becky chooses Ronda as her opponent. Okay. The next week, Becky is forced to get herself <laughs> medically cleared by doctors for her knee, but she refuses under the thinking that they're going to not clear her like they did at Survivor Series, so she's not going to get the match. Right, okay. And because she refuses, she gets suspended. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, fo the following week... She is forced to apologise so that she gets unsuspended. <laughs> is this all, um, uh, what's the word, hypothetical? No, not hypothetical. Yeah, it's, is this it's all, all, um, all storyline basis. Right, okay. Yeah, there's okay. no real injury, there's no <laughs> real issue actually, with her. Right, okay. No, 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 no one's got any issue with her as a per. It's all basically to build up the storyline going in to WrestleMania. Okay. To make you excited for it is the thought process yeah okay you tell me at the end of this whether you're excited okay <laughs> <laughs> so yes she's forced to apologize she begrudgingly does so but charlotte replaces her in the match anyway right okay because the owner of the company says so <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> then the week the Following week, there's another pay-per-view called Elimination Chamber. Um, Becky's not involved at all. Charlotte's not involved. Ronda has a match for the title, which she easily wins. Charlotte is at ringside watching the match, and Becky attacks both of them with her crutch for her knee. <laughs> she right. appears out of the crowd and attacks both of them. Okay. Okay. Is that like jealousy of Charlotte Flair, I suppose, or along those lines? Yeah, Okay. Cheesed off with both of them, basically. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. She's had her chance taken away. She's still not happy with Ronda either. They're still going at it on Twitter a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> so then the night after, Ronda has another match for reasons with the person she beat at Elimination Chamber. Okay. And handily wins it. Okay. And it's announced that Becky is basically going to, if she ever kind of interferes while she's suspended she'll get arrested. Right, okay. Obviously. <laughs> you, know where, you know where this is going, don't you? The following week, Becky does come in and attacks Ronda and is arrested. <laughs> okay. So, what does Ronda Rousey do in that situation, would you say? What does Ronda do? Yeah. Becky has just been arrested for attacking her. She's going to be carted off. She's a non-entity in terms of the storyline at this point. Ronda's going to be facing Charlotte. Right. So what does Ronda do? Um, does she break her out of prison? <laughs> uh, sort of. What she does is she demands that Becky gets reinstated into the match and um, basically vacates the belt. She leaves the belt in the ring and walks off. Does that mean and she's, says if she's giving up the belt? 
Yeah, she's basically if Becky's not in the match, I'm not going to be in the match. There won't be a match. Screw the lot of you. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you with me so far? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm vaguely with you. <laughs> yeah. The the following week, Becky is reinstated. <laughs> okay. And at that weekend's another pay per view because. There has to be so many of these damn things. Um, <laughs> it's announced that Becky is going to face Charlotte for that vacant belt. No Ronda in sight. Right, okay. Is at that which how that's point, supposed to work? <laughs> well, at, at which point Ronda arrives back in the arena and basically takes her belt back. <laughs> what, just picks it up and walked off? <laughs> yeah, just picks it up and goes, no, 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 no. I wasn't, like, giving the belt up. I was just <laughs> making a point called their bluff sort of thing yeah right so okay. instead the match between becky and charlotte fast lane is now if becky wins it she'll be added to the wrestlemania match and there'll be three of them instead of two of them okay yep yeah so that match happens becky's still got this injured knee Right. And Charlotte absolutely dominates her. So Ronda basically hands Becky a win by attacking Becky because she's not involved in the match. Okay. <laughs> so in the lamest way possible, Becky wins. So she gets added to the match. Okay. <laughs> Becky wins so that they can battle again. Yes. Fight again, I should say. Sorry, yes. I'm thinking of Pokemon again. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> But Ronda, she doesn't Ronda replace. Sends out Charizard. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting confused. Yeah, go while on. Jigglypuff does not appear. <laughs> <laughs> Do carry on. Sorry. Yeah. So she hasn't replaced Charlotte. She's just been added. Okay. The next night. <laughs> the next night. <laughs> the next night. Yeah. <laughs> Rhonda comes out whinging, calling wrestling fake. What? <laughs> yep. She says, this whole thing is stupid, basically. Um, I'm not going to do what this company tells me to do anymore. This whole thing is fake. All you audience are stupid anyway for liking it. What the hell is the point of any of this? Is she breaking the fourth wall? Or is she kind just Kind of trying to, <laughs> yeah. No, she's trying to be meta. Uh, was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somebody from the... Uh, one of the other um, women in the division basically comes out and has a go at her for being an idiot. Right, OK. So the next week they have a match and Ronda easily wins and she basically attacks this person afterwards a lot. Security come down. She attacks a load of the security guards. Her husband's there at ringside as well. He attacks a load of the security guards too. They naff off. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> And this is Ronda. This, yeah. This week, so this Monday just been, each one of these three women, Ronda, Charlotte, Becky, have a, what they call a beat the clock match. Okay. Basically a time thing, win as quick as you can. For, again, reasons. It's not explained why they're doing this. And again, Ronda calls this whole thing stupid. Okay. She says it's a pointless thing, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> So that happens, Becky wins, she gets the fastest time, Ronda's annoyed. Right, OK. <laughs> and it's announced then that next Monday, those three women, Becky, Charlotte and Ronda, will face the three people that they beat in the Beat the Clock matches this week. Again, for reasons. OK. Yes. <laughs> for reasons, just because. Yes, indeed. So, does that sound like enough? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like too much, but you're making it sound like there's more. There's one more thing. <laughs> Does The Rock come in and <laughs> claim he's transgender now and joins the and fight? And gets himself... <laughs> oh, no, it's it's slightly even more better than that. Right, OK. <laughs> this Tuesday... Yeah, this um, Tuesday. ...just been on what's, Smackdown Live. Oh, what's it, a day after? The day after the Beat the Clock challenge. Yeah. Um, remember Asuka... Asuka? Yeah, the person who won the SmackDown belt at oh, right. Tables, Ladders and Chairs. She's yeah. still got the belt at this point. Okay. Bearing in mind, nothing has been built for her going into WrestleMania. No opponent. So what they were going to have is four women in a match 
the winner will face Asuka at WrestleMania. Okay. That gets replaced because she has a title match against Charlotte. Okay. <laughs> Sh- Charlotte wins the SmackDown belt. Right, okay. <laughs> so what does that but, mean? <laughs> but she's still in the triple threat at WrestleMania. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> I'm not... I don't know, like, really anything. But even <laughs> I know that that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. So, so that is from November through to April. <laughs> That's their storyline. So what's happening tonight? Is something else happening? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> When's the next scheduled thing to happen? The six woman tag. Okay. The three of them against these three people they beat in the beat the clock. Okay. And that will hopefully be the final thing before WrestleMania. And will they be on the same sort of side then? They're all on the same team and they've been told they're not allowed to attack each other. <laughs> what do you think they're going to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think. Yes. The other three should just sit back. <laughs> and just watch them attack. Yeah. yeah. Just be yeah. like, yeah, look, that yeah, we win. <laughs> yeah. They're all gonna so... g- they're all gonna get arrested. <laughs> yeah, and there won't be a match. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be cancelled. And be yeah. replaced with a male uh, <laughs> a male WrestleMania thing. And then everyone will be like, right, okay, um <laughs> yeah. that doesn't work for me. That doesn't have a thing, yeah. So up until at the end of the the Royal Rumble match, makes sense. Beck is going to face Ronda. She'll finally get that match that she wasn't able to have a couple of months ago. That's what everyone expects. Lovely, lovely. There's still a bit of friction between the two of them. We can just play that off week on week. One person getting a bit of one-upsmanship, the other one getting their own back. Yeah. La, 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 la. But yeah, instead we have a knee injury... Um, a suspension, a reinstatement of suspension, and then she gets replaced by somebody anyway. <laughs> then she attacks both of those people, she being Becky at this point. Yeah. And then uh, Becky is arrested. <laughs> Ronda gives up the belt. Then there's going to be another match. Ronda comes back and gets her belt back. And then Becky gets put back into the match. And then at the end, Charlotte wins the other women's belt in the company. You are back. Sorry. That's all right. Bad, bad camp there on my side. That's all um, right. Let's hope this carries on well enough. <laughs> indeed, yes. So, yeah, there we go. A massive historical match with really confusing, stupid storyline going in. <laughs> and everyone's looking forward to it. I can see now where you said excitement might be a difficult word. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, terrified. That's not... So, I hope you're as tired as I am. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I tried to write notes as I went along, a little quick hand, so I... Yeah. (laughs) I I gave up after halfway. I was like, right, I'm... I'm, 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 That's it. I'm out. (laughs) But that's basically the consensus of every single fan. (laughs) Why add all this in there for no reason? It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. There's... (laughs) <laughs> there's a point where it just gets too much. Yes. And I think they've exceeded it by the sound of it. Yes. And that's from an outside point of view. <laughs> they jumped the shark, so to speak. Yes. That is, yeah, that's, that's spot on. <laughs> Indeed. So, yeah, yeah, that was my little two cents. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right, then. Well, um, is there anything coming up on your channel that you want people to look out for or just... Um, well, we've got the end of WrestleGamia 2 uh, this Tuesday, okay. um, and then what I will be doing um, the week after is kind of taking a leaf out of your book, doing a little teaser for up-and-coming bits and pieces, so oh. stay tuned for that, because I've got a couple of series continuing that I've only just started, some coming back, and some new bits and pieces, so okay then. that will tell you everything. Lovely. Okay, well, I'll look out for that one then. I like those sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. I've, yeah, I think I've just got the top ten on Tuesday. I have a scheduled random video Thursday. I put that in, I put that in place um, so that if I haven't got something prepared by that Thursday, I'll just postpone the top ten till the Wednesday and just have one video. 
Oh, depend, okay. Yeah, de yeah depends sense. how long the top tens take me. As yes. well as obviously work patterns because it's a very busy time because of Brexit, the bloody horrible B word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's... But I will be going to two videos a week. So, Tuesday, hopefully, Top 10 Tuesdays. Uh-huh. And then, yeah, uh, Master Trainer will be every other Sunday between the lovely podcast we do here. And after a while, like I said at the beginning, I'll probably do multiple episodes in one... in Just in one. F you know, not fully expecting everyone to watch everything, but just so that the series is complete. Yes. So it's all there. I'll probably publicise the most entertaining one and then just do a little bit at the end to say, you know, hey, lo there's yes, loads on here. Ones. Yeah. But yeah, so that, that's I'll get going on those in the new recording studio, which won't be seen in the top ten video because that was done in January. <laughs> but you can see it in the Master Training Series video. Yep. Lovely. Well, yeah, it's been fun. It has, and next time I'll make sure I've got enough space on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Good, good end. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll probably go back to a Pokemon-related one next week. I'll try and think yeah. of something because I think I've given it two weeks without. What did I do last time? I can't even remember. Don't know. Listen to episode nine. Yeah, I'll go back and listen to it again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, yeah, that was it. What? Why do we like retro games? That was it. Oh, that was it, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Hopefully in the next two weeks there'll be some Sword and Shield news, so I'll go on about that. <laughs> Good call. But yeah, all right, well, until until next fortnight, I'll see you later. See you very soon. See bye you bye. later.